and this is Wonderlist and Beyond. Today we're doing a community hike with Mech to Kelso's conservation area in Milton and I'm taking you with me. Let's go. It is Sunday and I had to take the above ground um, Toronto Transit and because the subways don't open uh, until 8 a.m. on Sundays and we're supposed to meet at 9 a.m. At, at MEC. So I was getting a little stressed about not making it here on time, but I think I'm gonna make it with like 10 minutes to spare. Yay me! But I was getting pretty stressed. I'm really looking forward to this hike today. Uh, it's my first time actually going on a day hike in Ontario. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. I've never uh, done something like this. It is a community hike. I'm going by myself, so I don't know anyone there. I'm hoping I'm not the oldest person there, which usually tends to be the case. So uh, let's see. But I'm really excited to go on this hike today. Okay, the song is Sweet Caroline, which is a well known sing alone. You have the visitor center, um, washroom. And this is where uh, one of the trails starts. I'm not sure which one we're doing. But I haven't seen like a water fountain, unless we're just supposed to use water from the uh, washroom in the sink. So we made it. We're here. It took us about, uh, it's, I think we got in like 10 minutes ago. I just went to use the washrooms. And Meryl is here. They're letting us try out some boots for our hike. out of shape.
that we are at is kind of boring, especially when we compare Ontario to other provinces in Canada, especially like British Columbia or, uh, or uh, let's say, uh, Quebec or other area. We are like kind of stuck. Southern Ontario is flat and hilly. We are kind of still over there. Uh, the broken off is up. Uh, famous trail that we are walking part of it today, or seeing it, at least is the Bruce Trail that goes all the way from Tobibori to uh, Niagara Falls, about 800 kilometers. Park West, by the way, is like we pick some like parts and then we we cover, let's say, significant part of the Blue Trail. Uh, for my uh, personal stuff, if you have ever been to Lion's Head, it's also a good spot viewing a top of Mori, part of Blue Trail, and also a great hiking. So it makes me think I wouldn't mind walking the Bruce Trail. I know that there's various um, hiking companies that offer like day trips so you can go and do portions of the Bruce Trail. Like they will pick you up in Toronto and then you hike a portion and they pick you up at the end and drive you back. I think that would be pretty cool to do that. 
Also a reminder that I'm totally out of shape again because some of these uh, inclines are killing my, killing me. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Having a great time. I am wearing a pair of Merrill that I actually bought after the Camino in Lisbon to replace my ultras that were done. Um, and they're not too bad. I wasn't sure because the note we got from Mex said to wear hiking boots. I think I probably could have worn my Ultra Olympus, but the thread is kind of worn out on them. Um, and Meryl was here with their new hiking shoes, sort of like a hiking trail kind of shoe, but they didn't have any of my size, so I didn't get to try them. Um, these Meryl they're okay. I feel like I'm getting a blister. I wore them a few times, but not really for hiking. So, yeah. Um, a lot of people are just wearing running shoes. Some people do have hiking boots, and a few people have trail runners. I am in the middle of the pack. I think there's about 40 of us. But the hike leader? <laughs> right now, there's no one here. So the group in front of me is maybe, there's maybe, uh, I don't know, I want to say 10 people with the hike leader, but he's walking super fast. And then they have a volunteer at the end. But the other section, I don't know where they are. Um, yeah, so he's just going really fast. I think we only have two and a half hours anyway, so um, I think he's just trying to make sure we make it in time to catch the bus back. together. So I feel like this is almost reminds me of a lot of portions of the Camino. Um, and I'm missing Suzanne. Hi Suzanne. If she were here. Did you feel it? Like they both tired. Oh okay. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can be really used for writing. So they use the birch trees in order to uh, pie, uh, pin holes and then either to draw or to save uh, history. So the birch trees is well known now, it's not the season, but basically it's very easy to peel it up and you can see, uh, what do you see up there? Uh, but you can see actually that the, the, the birch tree, the, the cover of the tree, I don't know how to call it in English, sorry. Bark. The bark, yeah, but like the... the Cover of it is the bark. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So the bark is used to either writing or uh, um, leave notes for each other or history. So it has been used for First Nation mostly. However, it is not sustainable that long. So that's why most of the stuff that is like hundreds of years ago did not really preserve for mm. that long. But it is nice that it's sustainable. Mm. Of course. He's just chilling. <laughs> 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 Like 
30 minutes to ourselves. Well, 20 minutes. given um, 20 minutes to go and check out the beach or do whatever we wanted and have our lunch um, and then the bus is going to pick us up in the same spot they dropped us off. Um, I had a lot of fun. It was great. Um, there was a group about, we're about 40 people. Um, ages range but mostly younger people. There were maybe two other women that were my age. Um, it was a bit challenging at times, I think because I haven't hiked uh, since the Camino, but it was a lot of fun. A liter and a half of water in my water bladder. And there hasn't been any water fountains. Um, and it says not to use the water in the washrooms. There was that one fountain by the beach, but not really anywhere to fill up your bottle of water, which I find weird. You should have somewhere to fill up your water bottle. They do have places to buy stuff, but I didn't want to buy anything. So as I started to um, edit my video of last week's hike at Kelso Conservation Area, I realized that I didn't film at closing. So let's do that now while I make myself some uh, matcha iced, blueberry matcha iced tea. Um, so last week's hike, I actually really enjoyed that. I have no, so the hike was a community hike with Mech, which is a mountain equipment company. Um, and they got together with a company called Park Bus that's been around since uh, 2010. And I didn't realize this, they run um, hikes out of Toronto, I think Toronto, Vancouver, and Edmonton. Um, so every weekend they have hikes and you just show up at this place, you book your, you buy your ticket in advance. They take you wherever they're going hiking and you can either hike with the group or hike by yourself and then they drive you back. I had no idea this existed in Toronto. I think it's a fantastic idea. A lot of people in the city don't have cars like me. I don't have a car. So having that option to go and hike is fantastic where I don't have to rent a car. I also like the fact that they organize everything and you can hike in the group. So for someone like me who is not used to, um, I mean, I walk the Camino, but I think hiking like in um, the forest or like at these provincial parks is a little bit different. Um, I really enjoyed this hike. It was a little bit challenging at the beginning going up that hill because I haven't done anything since the Camino. Um, and truth be told, I really haven't worked out or anything. I'm a bit out of shape. Um, so it was kind of like a wake up call, like, oh wow, um, I've really lost a lot of the fitness that I built up during the Camino. So something I definitely want to fix. Um, but I had a great time, it's fantastic. It was just a half day. We were back in Toronto. I think we got off the bus at 2.33. Um, it also like as soon as we got to Toronto this huge storm broke up uh, so we were pretty lucky that we made it back um, just before the storm started um, yeah so I had a really good time I think I said that there were only two women that were around my age um, but that was okay like everyone was really nice I had a good time um, there were some people that were walking with their friends, but quite a few people just by themselves. I think the majority were women, which is nice to see. Um, the park itself didn't really have any water stations. Um, and when we were done hiking, 
that the washrooms at the beginning they were out of order so that was kind of a bit you know there were washrooms at the bottom where the beach were um but you you could only buy water you couldn't um there were no water fountains which i thought was kind of weird um i wish they would have had some fountains there uh, but all in all that was a great experience definitely something i look into that was actually the first time Mech and Park Bus were partnering up to do a community hike. So, um, but I would definitely be interested in doing more hikes with Park Bus. That would be something fun to do. Also, um, so two weeks ago, we did the Ravine Beltline um, Trail, and we ended up at the... Toronto's biggest farmers market and actually on Tuesday we got three thunderstorms in the span of three hours and by the time everything was said and done we got 98 millimeters of rain um, when we usually only get around 72 millimeters for a whole month so a lot of Toronto got flooded and the uh, Brickworks Farmer's Market, like that whole area was flooded. I'm going to put some pictures up so you can see. Like it just, wow, it was incredible. We were actually very lucky because we usually get flooded here. I'm just in a townhouse. Uh, but because they had done some maintenance and cleared the drains, we were so lucky that we didn't get any damage. But a lot of places had damage. Um, there was a lot of flooding, so that's pretty sad and concerning, um, but it's all been pretty much cleaned out. Um, but I haven't gone back to the um, Ravine Beltline to see what it looks like. I'm pretty sure it's muddy and, you know, all of that before all the rivers, um, the river goes back. But yeah, just pretty sad. Anyways, um, I want to thank you for following along and watching. Um, I hope that you're enjoying my videos. Um, if you have any suggestions of what else you'd like to see, I've also been doing some um, in the kitchen with me videos because uh, I quite enjoy doing that. Here we have blueberry matcha iced latte. So that is it for today. I hope you're enjoying my videos and I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks.